Dr. Pulufelo Newland, Chief Executive Officer, National Research Foundation. Dr. Mamwele Tsimusia, Managing Director, South Africa Agency for Science Technology Advancement, a business unit of the National Research Foundation. Professor Tebukho Mashifana, University of Johannesburg. Dr. Nehemi Latulla, Nelson Mandela University. Professor Shoren Singh of the University of South Africa, who are the organizers of STEMI Olympiads, competitions and fairs, representatives of science centers, researchers and academics, educators, representatives of provincial departments of education, officials from Department of Science and Innovation, and also officials from South African Agency for Science and Technology Advancement, other delegates and participants. It is my honor to speak to you today on the occasion of the Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics and Innovation Olympiads and Competitions Community of Practice Conference. Let me start by thanking the STEMI conference organizers team for the invitation to come and speak here. I also wish to acknowledge the contribution of the National Research Foundation and SASTA, not just in the hosting of the conferences such as these, but also for their con continued contribution to the realization of the objectives of the Department of Science and Innovation Science Engagement Strategy. The issue of science engagement is central to our work as the department and through it, we aim to build a society that is knowledgeable about science, critically engaged and, in and able to form independent opinion about matters science related. I also wish to take this opportunity to extend a special acknowledgement to our three esteemed guest speakers, Professor Tebukho Mashifana from the University of Johannesburg, and also Dr. Naomi Alatulla from the Nelson Mandela University, and Professor Shoren Singh from the University of South Africa, all of whom are highly decorated academics whose insight, I believe, will enrich the discussion of this conference. The theme of this conference, which is preparing learning from disadvantaged communities for the future of work through STEMI Olympiads and competition, is inspired by the objectives of one of our key policies and guides in our department, a decadal plan, which envisages that we work on future-proofing education. Informed by this, one of our expectations is that the papers and discussions at this conference should offer practical ideas on how best to represent to the challenge of education and skilling for the future of work. Against the background of rapid changes in the world of technology, social, economic and other challenges facing society. Our learners and students will require to be well equipped to deal with the rapid changes in their classrooms as the tools of learning and teaching are also changing from time to time. In fact, with such tools as virtual learning, our very understanding of what constituted classroom has undergone radical changes. As these young people complete their studies and they need to transition into new uh, world of work, they will have to be skilled for that world uh, uh, by being adaptable, by being flexible, open to learn, and learn and relearn skills continuously. This is particularly agent for young people in the developing world. To be able to achieve this, there are a number of things which I believe require our agent attention and policy and as policy makers and also as decision makers. The first one which I believe is important, is the lack of transformation in STEMI Olympias competitions and fairs. There is an agent need for more decisive action on our part to address matters of inclusivity in a broader sense, such as the involvement of learners from quantile two, one, two, and three uh, schools from rural and township areas. Some of you would recall that at least I mean, at the last conference in 2021, delegates were encouraged to be more inclusive in their events and activities. Deep reflection is needed on the resolutions and discussions on previous conferences to see if we're making progress as it relates to the question of inclusivity. In this regard, one of the questions this conference must also answer is whether there has been any meaningful progress with the involvement of special schools for learners who are differently abled. The second one is for the presenters and researchers at this conference to be bold enough to critically engage with the status quo by being open to positive critique, discussion, and advice from conference delegates. 
Equally important is the need to encourage the delegates to this conference to change their experiences of what works and what does not and come forward with practical proposals to addressing the known challenges. The third requirement is for the entire community of practice to debate and deliberate purposefully towards a set of outcomes or conference resolutions that can get the stakeholders to start working on solutions that can be implemented towards preparing learning, especially from marginalized rural and peri-urban areas, <clears throat> to be ready for the future of work. Some of these deliberate actions I've suggested should be aimed at, among others, helping us to think about bolder action as we move forward to expand the reach and impact of STEMI Olympiads and competitions. Currently, only about 500,000 learners participate in such activities on an annual basis. This is very disturbing if we consider the fact that there are close to 13 million learners in the basic education sector. Our expectation in this regard is for organizers of the Olympias, competitions and fairs to, among others, embrace digital technologies and make sure that their activities reach those young people in the most remote parts of our country. This can be done by ensuring entry fees are affordable and also opening platforms for participants. It therefore also goes without saying that much more must be done to include learners and educators from all provinces and region. As the Department of Science and Innovation, we envisage a landscape where many more schools, school-going young people participate in Olympias, competitions and fairs. In conclusion, it is our expectation that through this conference and other platforms, the community of practice will help us break the barriers and move tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands to at least one million participants by the time the next conference sits. With these few words, I wish to officially declare the conference open and wish you well in your deliberations over the next three days. I look forward to the outcomes of your deliberations. Thank you very much for listening.